Now to the removal of the wreckage of the key bridge in Baltimore. A controlled explosion brought down the largest remaining part of the collapsed bridge. Take a look. The Port of Baltimore. Now one step closer to fully reopening after a powerful controlled explosion brought down the largest remaining section of the key bridge. Crews used small precision explosives to cut through the giant steel trusses safely and efficiently, sending the massive structure tumbling off the cargo ship, the Dolly, and into the water. We're now very close to fully clearing the channel. And we're already getting large ships in and out of the port of Baltimore. The Dolly has been stuck for seven weeks after crashing into the bridge and sending it thundering down. We've last reported at least several vehicles in the water with several people still unaccounted for. Killing six construction workers. On the surface and underwater now, crews are assessing the area, hoping to move that ship back to port within 48 hours. It is an important milestone for us to float the vessel Dolly and take it out of the federal channel. Even then, the ship's crew will remain on board. They're critical to repair efforts as well as to multiple investigations. There's still more wreckage obstructing the port. Crews are working around the clock to finish the job, aiming to fully clear the channel by the end of this month. There is a special sense of, of mission, it seems, in everybody you meet who's on this project. That's right. Everyone is pulling together. Everyone is rallying to this cause. At this time, there's still no set timeline for when the port will reopen.